Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. So today I thought I would, one, give you a little bit of a life update, and two, I'm planning on painting over this canvas that I one time painted and it ended up really dumb. And it's on my bucket list to paint on a canvas. I'm going to try to show you guys pretty much everything that's been on my bucket list. So um, while I'm in quarantine, I figure I may as well get some projects done and this is maybe something that I can just get out of the way and maybe create something pretty while I'm at it. So as for the update part, so I have to take my temperature twice a day and the lowest that it's been so far has been 97.7 and the highest that it's been so far has been 98.9. And the latest one that I did today was 98.2. So my temperature is actually pretty up and down, but not like I don't have a fever. I feel great. I'm pretty sure I don't have the coronavirus, but I'm in quarantine away from my friends and family just to make sure that I don't because people can have zero indication of having the coronavirus and yet still have the coronavirus. Being precautious, just as the rest of you out there should be trying to be careful to not spread the coronavirus. I figured that while I paint today, I thought it would be fun to just talk while I paint. I don't have anyone to talk to right now. So I'll show you what I get at the end of this. So I looked up some like questions on Pinterest. They're would you rather questions. I thought that could be kind of interesting. The first question on the would you rather sheet that I found is, would you rather be able to detect any lie you hear or get away with any lie you tell? That is such an easy one for me because I don't lie very often, honestly. It makes me feel like something bad's gonna happen to me if I lie and I just feel very guilty and wrong. Ugh, whenever I watch a movie, I hate when people lie to each other because I know that's gonna come back up later. <laughs> Although, what if they're trying to surprise you? Then it would be hard to get surprised. And I like surprises. So the next question, would you rather be a hopeless romantic or a hopeful unromantic? I already am a hopeless romantic and I wouldn't change that about myself because I think that being a romantic person has given me the creativity in my life that I have. I think that it, ha it inspires me. I think that it makes me feel like all of my romantic notions will someday come true and well even if they don't like I would rather have romance out the wazoo than none <laughs> I just think that romance is very important and while it's probably unrealistic a lot of the times I wouldn't change that about myself I choose to stay a hopeless romantic because honestly sounds more romantic. <laughs> Ooh, this next question is kind of deep. It says, would you rather have too many friends or too few? And definitely if you had asked me that in like middle school or high school or maybe even like early college, I would have been like, uh, definitely too many friends. Like you can't ever have too many friends. Well, I have changed that <laughs> because I am a very sentimental person. I would rather have too few friends than have too many friends because when, if you have too many friends, you can't have as much of a quality relationship with them. And if you have too many friends, it also leaves you open to losing more people. And I have discovered that losing people in life is like my least favorite thing. So definitely would rather have too few friends because it decreases the likelihood of losing somebody and quality is better than quantity. Quick disclosure, I have painted on canvas before, but I'm showcasing all of the things on my bucket list. Even if I've already done them, I'm gonna do them again. So this is one that I'm gonna do and I'll show you whenever I'm done. So this next one 
says, would you rather talk like Yoda or breathe like Darth Vader? That's a tough one. These are tough questions. <laughs> so like, would I wanna walk around like, <sighs> no, that would make people really uncomfortable. Yeah, I guess I think I would rather talk like Yoda. <laughs> Because, I mean, I can control how much I talk, but I can't control how much I breathe. I have to breathe to live. To talk, I'd be all right if I didn't talk as much. The next question is, would you rather see the world and live in poverty or stay in one place but be rich? I would rather travel the world, and if you know me, you understand. Would, okay, the next one... <laughs> It says, would you rather walk in on your parents making out or have them walk in on you making love? <laughs> That's awkward. I would way rather walk in on my parents making out. I think that'd be cute. <laughs> I just about knocked over the tripod there, so if this looks weird, that's why. But the answer is, yeah, I would rather walk in on my parents making out. That would be cute to me. I think if my parents were making out, they don't really, like, even kiss in front of my brother and I very often. But I think it's cute when they do. All right, so progress has been made on this painting. It's all black now. But it needs to dry. <sighs> okay, so I moved my workstation to the floor because it was more comfortable to paint this way. I don't really have like a lot of surface area in my room right now. I need to do like more of a tedious work right now. So that's why I'm on the floor. And I'm using this pizza box as a desk and a palette. So the next question is, would you rather brush your teeth with hot sauce or ranch dressing? Ooh. I think I would rather brush my teeth with hot sauce strictly because ranch dressing has like little pieces of like black in it and I think that that would be super gross to brush your teeth with and like the texture of ranch dressing like I don't even like hot sauce and I do like ranch dressing but I think that the texture would just be really disgusting to brush my teeth with at least hot sauce is like somewhat runny mo most of the time also like with hot sauce you can choose a flavor sort of like ranch dressing is the same flavor all the time so yeah, I would definitely pick hot sauce over ranch dressing if I had to use it as toothpaste. If I had to choose what I was gonna be putting on a sandwich, then I would pick ranch dressing. Would you rather bleach your hair neon green for the rest of your life or have one eyebrow? I'd rather have green hair than have one eyebrow. I think I could pull off green hair. I could not pull off having one eyebrow. No. Would you rather have a head too big for your body or a high-pitched baby voice? I think once again, like, if my voice were to be changed, I can at least control how much I talk. I wouldn't be able to control how often people see my head. Like, I think it'd be more uncomfortable for other people to be around somebody with a giant head than to be around somebody who speaks like a baby. Because think about it, like, say you go to a concert and you have a huge head, like, everybody's going to be super ticked off. But if you have a baby voice, you literally don't have to speak. Like, it, it, could, it could affect somebody's life if you have a really annoying sounding voice, but you can control it. So yeah, that's my answer. So I'm gonna sign off of this video and whenever I'm done with the painting, I'll put it in the, um, the picture, but my phone's about to die 
and I feel like this is going to be a long video, so you can just uh, stick around if you want to see how the painting ends up. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!